Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Indian School of Physics. Guys, this is Nathan here and again I have come up with a very interesting problems in chasing. It is continuation in the previous videos of chasing problems. So uh, guys, this video is brought to you by Indian School of Physics and Unacademy together. And uh, guys, my current courses on uh, Unacademy are course of INPHO Foundation and for J Advanced 2023. Emerge for J 2023. This, this is a new batch and basic mathematics is going on in this. And uh, advanced problem solving for J Advanced 2021 part 2 uh, is uh, starting very soon, uh, first week of June. And uh, advanced GT for J Advanced 2021 is already happening in special classes. We have conducted 15 or 16 tests so far. Advanced course for J 2022 in Hindi is uh, already going on uh, with uh, capacitor and current electricity currently and uh, courses on rotational mechanics from first week of june uh, is again uh, starting it should be i think it should be course <coughs> and guys you can access my theory courses which are of advanced plus plus levels for boosting your j preparation you can unlock these courses on an academy using my code nathan sir and uh, for more info you can visit www.unacademy.com and guys trust me physics will never be the same again so here is the uh, problem statement from, from the configuration shown in the figure B is a particle which moves with a constant velocity along the x-axis. A is a particle that moves with the same speed as B but has its velocity always directed towards B. At t equal to 0, B is at 3,0 and A is at uh, 0, uh, minus 4A. So this point is taken as uh, origin here. <coughs> The final distance between A and B is found to be constant and equal to x A. Find the value of this x. So it is an integer type problem here. Normally in chasing problems we have uh, seen already and I have uploaded many problems and uh, uh, <coughs> on the chasing concept so you can uh, take this as an extension of it. So normally we take uh, these two ideas in any chasing problem. In one case, uh, we are going to write equation of motion along the line joining the two particles and then uh, we try to equate the displacements along the uh, straight line path because normally usually one of the particle will be moving in a straight line path and another will, uh, will be chasing it and will follow a curved path. So these two ideas will keep in mind and uh, so here at any time t if, we, if I analyze the situation here. So you can see here this particle and uh, here A is chasing and B is ahead. So B is moving all the time on this line, right? And uh, A is going to follow like this. Uh, velocity of A will be always pointing towards the location of B. So finally, let's say uh, X is the distance between uh, <coughs> these two particles and both will be traveling in this straight line then only this is possible and it is given that b is going to move in this direction so definitely a will join this line and finally will be start chasing it so let's write uh, equation uh, at any time t when b is uh, some general location b is at some general point here and a is at some general point here let's say distance between these two points is r now uh, velocity u is this side and here velocity of u is this side so this angle I am taking as theta like we do in the standard uh, chasing problem of Irudov so this minus dr by dt I can write as minus dr by dt I can write as uh, u minus u cos theta or uh, you can say uh, velocity along the line joining that is uh, relative velocity u minus u cos theta into dt that is going to give us a relative displacement between these two. So when time goes from 0 to general time t uh, the distance initial distance was 5a <coughs> and finally this is x. So this integral limit will go from 5a to x. When I simplify this. I'm going to get uh, this value as uh, ut minus u cos theta dt uh, is equal to 5a minus x. This is my equation number uh, 1. So guys here you have to uh, see that we cannot evaluate this integral unless until we know theta as a function of time. So which is uh, like very tricky here and very difficult also. What we can do is we can just equate the displacement along this line. So you can see here <coughs> uh, this particle uh, B it is traveling a distance of uh, you can say 
u into t the time after which uh, the distance becomes constant after uh, a large time here you can say this distance is going to be ut ut plus uh, 3a ut plus uh, 3a i can say it is the total displacement along x axis for the uh, particle a which is integral u cos theta dt so here you can say integral u cos theta dt is going to be and it will be somewhere here it will be somewhere here so i can say here integral cos theta dt this value i can substitute here 3a plus u into t this is the distance and that must be equal to uh, this distance x plus integral v cos theta dt i can uh, use this logic integral u cos theta dt now if and uh, if i eliminate this these two in the previous equation i can get uh, ut minus u cos theta dt if i equate i'll be getting x minus 3a is equal to 5a minus x when i simplify this i'm getting x is equal to 4a so i hope you have enjoyed this problem this is going to be the final answer and if you have enjoyed this problem please leave a like share this video with others and i'll be coming up very soon with another uh, amazing problem and uh, if you haven't subscribed my channel